driving on Interstate 26, you may have noticed the construction of a new major facility in Orangeburg. Well, after a year of dedicated effort, the site has now been completed. A 3,000-seat assembly hall built by Jehovah's Witnesses sits on a 50-acre lot near Interstate 26. The center will serve primarily as a location to educate the Jehovah's Witnesses on biblical principles for daily life. More than 300 congregations will use the assembly hall for their semi-annual assemblies. It's so nice to be able to come to a place that's going to be dedicated for our worship for years to come into the future and to be with so many brothers and sisters, our friends from around the area, around the state, even across the country, and to be able to be here for such a, such a privileged ceremony. The $10 million facility, funded entirely by volunteer donations, includes a water feature in the atrium that is also used as a baptismal pool. The pool includes a special lift system to assist disabled delegates. The building was built uh, with the environment in mind. It is a green building. We use a, a filtration system that's also very uh, new and different. It uses ultraviolet light to, to keep the water crystal clear and pure and safe. The auditorium includes a large mural reflecting the low country and midlands of South Carolina. The building also contains technology for the hearing impaired, including video walls and video systems. The building is actually uh, set up with state-of-the-art technology that allows us to um, have American Sign Language presentations done for the public. Over 5,000 people volunteered their time and effort in the construction of the facility, some coming from as far as California, others from areas such as Beaufort, Hilton Head, and, you guessed it, Bluffton. Usually it was me leaving Bluffton probably around 5.30 or 6 in the morning. When you finally get to see it all cleaned up and all the construction materials gone, then you can actually appreciate the landscaping. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it in the spring when we see a lot of the uh, perennial flowers and stuff we put in actually blooming. Estimated to be used 40 or more weeks out of the year, the site is bound to make a strong economic impact. The ongoing impact on the community of Orangeburg is estimated, and the, and the, and the Midlands of South Carolina, is estimated at some $165 million a year. There'll be a growth of new hotels, new restaurants in the area, and of course that'll bring many, many jobs to this area. The public is invited to come free of charge. There's never a collection taken. So we're excited to be here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and we, uh, we look forward to uh, working with the local community.